rainy day in Houston, Texas. About to go downtown, do some street photography. Got my bag with me. Take you all along on this ride. Let's get to it. Like I said, it was raining. I don't usually like to shoot in the rain, but hey, you know, the camera I'm shooting with is definitely not weather sealed. Got enough protection from the elements. I do have an umbrella with me just in case it starts to pour again. I don't know. I just, I've had like the bug just to get out and just shoot some street lately. Hard as a new parent. It's so hard to get out and do the things that you love to do. And of course I love being a parent. I'm just happy I'm getting this little bit of time. You know, Houston's not like New York City. Even though it's the fourth largest city in the country, it's not like New York City where you can just step outside and there's action all around you. You kind of have to hunt for the action a little bit. I actually have taken a lot of my street photos straight from the car. I would have my camera on the lap and I'd just be at a light, see something interesting. Hopefully I had the right lens and they weren't moving too quick and I'd capture. And I've actually gotten some pretty dope shots just from my uh, car seat. Not the safest thing to do. It's something that allows you to catch some of the action that you might have missed just because you can't cover all of Houston on foot. It's just impossible. My goal right now is just to get down to the edge of downtown, right on the edge of Midtown and downtown, park my car and just walk and see what I come across. I had a location picked out initially, but I just said, fuck it. I'm trying to wait on corners more and just not just walk around. Sometimes it feels helpful, sometimes it feels redundant, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm just finding little pockets, little corners that I feel I might see something interesting, waiting for about 10, 15 minutes. And then if nothing comes, I'm moving on. on my face damn it there it is i forgot to mention that there is an astros game this evening as well so that is probably where everybody is at downtown that's a cool camera bro thank you once again people ladies and gentlemen dead now i'm not gonna blame houston like i said there's an astros game going on the weather was crappy earlier today a lot of people probably didn't think it was gonna clear up so you know it is what it is but yeah times like these sometimes make me envious of new yorker i just sit here and try to take some of my own advice to see if anything happens take what you can get right you know not every shot needs to be photographed I try to respect people's privacy. Same thing with homeless people. Houston has a huge homeless population. I did take one picture, but only because of the context of it. And there was a group of Astro fans walking by this homeless person who looked like he was passed out, probably in a uh, high or drunken state, sleeping underneath a clock. And it just shows you how time passes by for those who don't move and those who do move. Those who have it all, and those who don't. Those on their way to see an Astros game and those who are just trying to make it through the night. All right, so outside of Astros Stadium, Everybody's coming in. I don't have a ticket, so obviously I'm not going in. How many, you know, how many shots of Astros fans can I take? So it looks like they're playing in Seattle. Game just started, so. All right, so my card said it was full. I just switched it from 4K to 1080p, so I got a little bit of time left, but that's the end of the vlog. The card is full. I thought I only had nine seconds left.